Hi guys, so I just wanted to share this little palette with you that I mentioned picking up from Amazon. It is called The Cageling by Aaron Eyes, and it says it's limited edition. I don't know if this is like a known brand or anything like that. Um, on the back, it is in a different language, but it feels like pretty hefty, and the packaging is so pretty. I really like it. This was only like... $12.99 maybe and you open it like this and there are the colors. I think they are gorgeous. I actually put some on my eyes just a few minutes ago to try it out. Um, I just kind of put this down and then since that wasn't really covering much I went in with a little brown in my crease as well. Um, and then I went down and put this shade down and then I put this shade on top of it and then I did go in with the Sparrow shade in the outer corner and then also with this shade on the outer corner. It's really hard to tell, um, but I mean, I'm not good at makeup whatsoever. I was just trying out a new look for myself. Um, so I just wanted to share this palette with you guys. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the packaging. Um, I think the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. I have not swatched them yet, so I thought maybe I could sit here and swatch them and show you guys and go over all of the names of the shades. So in the top row we have Swan, Nightingale, and Sparrow. I love the names of these. This one is Spoonbill, Dove, and... Thracolis. I'm not really sure how to say that one, so sorry. Um, this one is Flamingo, Shrike, and Canary. I love this yellow shade. This one is Starling, Linnet, and Phoenix. And then this one is Robin, Parakeet, and Trogon. And I just, I don't know, I love the shades of these so, so much. I'm really interested to see how they swatch. So I'm going to swatch them really quickly on my arm. I'm going to see where the best spot is to swatch them, and I'll be right back to show you guys. Okay, I was only able to do the first, like, three rows of colors um, because my arm's just not that big. Um, but this is the swatches so far of the first three rows of colors. You can see where I ended with the yellow shade. I mean, they are so pigmented. They're so pretty. I can't believe how inexpensive this palette was. Um, I'm going to wipe these off and do the rest of the swatches, and I'll be right back. Okay, and here are the rest of them swatched. It, it's not even showing on camera how vibrant and amazing these colors are. Like, seriously, for being a $12 palette, $13 palette, I'm shocked at how amazing the pigmentation is. Like, I cannot wait to do crazy looks with, like, this purple, this, like, bright orange-red color, even this green and this shade right here. I'm living for all of them. I love this palette so much. Just, I mean, look at the packaging. It is so pretty. So well made, and I honestly, I don't think it was supposed to open this far. It t it stopped right here, but when I first opened it, like, I wanted to see it better, so I kind of opened it all the way, and you can tell it kind of looks broken, but I mean, it's still attached, so it's not that big of a deal, but I mean, I will link this down below if anybody wants to check it out on Amazon. I am so glad I decided to get it when I did, because... Sometimes when I wait on certain things on Amazon, like, they're suddenly unavailable, and it's always like, we don't know when this product will be available again. And I know it's just makeup, but, like, every time it's something that I want and I wait on it, it's always unavailable. So I went ahead and bought this. I do not regret it. The shades are gorgeous. Like, I'm obsessed with every single one of these shades. The yellow is vibrant and beautiful. This red, orange, this freaking purple. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to come up with looks with this. And, again, I'm not a beauty guru. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. I just
see what I like. And I will still share my journey with you guys um, if you're interested in seeing any sort of looks that I can come up with. Now I gotta wipe all this off my arm. I just took a shower and I was all I did this for you guys. Um, but I also was really wanting to swatch them anyway myself and just see how pretty the colors really were. So I'm glad I did that. Um, I also, I want to make another video. I'm trying to think of like what video I want to do tonight. Um, I feel like this isn't really a video in itself. It'd be so short. So whatever video I decide to do, I may put this at the beginning of it or at the end of it, if that's okay with you guys. Um, but I'm really trying to like use my time wisely while my kid is actually sleeping and like do videos and stuff like that. Um, I had so much fun going through my makeup last night. Um, I have my like declutter slash giving my friend makeup video going up tomorrow um, because I put my other video up last night, which I had really fun just switching makeup bags. I don't know why. I just, it was fun for me. Um, it's the little things in life. Like, even if it's boring or dull to somebody else, it could be really fun to me. Um, I'm just wearing my Captain America shirt. Gotta represent Cap. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go for now, figure out what other video I feel like doing tonight, figure out something to do with my hair because it's driving me bananas right now. Um, but yeah, I am going to go for now and I will see you guys very soon. All right, guys, I'm back. So I thought I'd share with you some of my essentials for in the shower. Um, that might sound weird, but <laughs> um, I just thought I'd share my favorite products that I use anytime I take a shower and even a product for after the shower. One that I just recently fell in love with is the Soap & Glory Smoothie Star Oat Sugar & Shea Breakfast, Breakfast Scrub. Um, with organic kupauku, I'm not sure how to say that, bio scrubs, banana, almond, and honey extracts, and it has a great maple scent. Um, so it just looks like that, and I've used a good hunk of it already. It smells really good, and I love using a body scrub like this in the shower. It just like really makes it just makes you feel so exfoliated and so smooth and amazing i love it and it makes you smell really good as well um one of my favorite cleansers that i use in the shower i'm almost out of and i'm gonna save this because i really want to try and do an empties type of video so i'm letting a lot of my stuff add up so i can actually do one of those videos um, but my favorite cleanser for a long time has been the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Argan Nut Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser um, with vitamin C and fruit acid blend antioxidant complex. Um, you can tell I've been like squeezing and squeezing the life out of this trying to get the last little bit out of here. This did also come with like a miniature moisturizer as well. Um, I was using that for a little while, but it kind of got misplaced, so I don't use that anymore. Um, but I really like this cleanser, and I hope they still make it because I got this on clearance. Um, if they still make it, I'm definitely going to repurchase this because I really, really like this. If I'm not using this one, um, I've been trying out the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Microfine Exfoliating Facial Scrub for healthy, healthy glowing skin. Um, it's got natural exfoliating butter and shea butter is 100% free of parabens, flaflates, and dyes. So this one, I it's not to me as good as this one, but this one, it's a good second choice. Um, I haven't used a whole lot of this one because again, I've been trying to use up this one, um, but I do really like it. Um, it smells nice and it does have like the nice fine little scrubbies in it like it's not gonna rough your face up or anything because some exfoliators for your face like are really rough and you know they can hurt a little bit so that's a I'm working on trying to love this one more but if I don't fall in love with it I'm gonna have to find another one if I cannot find another one of these at Target 
I'll even try Walmart. I'll try wherever. I'll look online if I have to. I really like this one. It smells nice. The exfoliators in it, they're just, they're gentle. They're nice, but I feel like it really cleans my face. And then I really do like this Method Body Cucumber Seaweed Green Tea Deep Detox Body Wash. It smells really nice. I actually just used it on my son tonight in the bath because we ran out of his Paw Patrol body wash. And I have a $2 off coupon for an 18 ounce body wash. And I was just saying to myself how I want to get the bigger size of this. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, I haven't used too much of this. Like I'd say it's about that gone, but you only need like a pea size amount to really get it lathered up and everything. So I'm going to try not to lose this coupon so I can use it at the store. Um, and then two more products. Let me grab this one. I've mentioned this one multiple times throughout the years, I believe, on my channel. Uh, my favorite facial moisturizer is the L'Oreal Hydra Genius. This one is for normal to dry skin. I really love this stuff. It makes my face feel so hydrated after feeling so dry and gross most of the day. I also have this one. It is also the Hydra Genius, but this is for extra dry skin. I haven't used as much of this one as I have of this. You can tell I've used quite a lot of it, but this has lasted me a long time. When I run out, I will definitely be repurchasing these uh, items. Um, but my favorite body lotion of all time that I love to put on right after the shower is the Soap and Glow, Glo I cannot speak, the Soap and Glory Smoothie Star Lightly Whipped Body Butter Cream with Pistachio Almond and Sweet Vanilla Fragrance, I give up, fragrance, um, seriously, this smells amazing, like, when I first, you can tell I've used the crap out of this. <laughs> um, when I first smelled it, I wasn't sure about it. I got it and I kept it around for a while. I was like, I don't know. I almost gave it to my sister. Sorry, I've got a little psoriasis poking through here. My hair is just a mess right now. I didn't wash it tonight, but I had it in a bun for the last couple days. And then I took my like long uh, Levite hairbrush straightener and just went through it. And then I went over that with my regular straightener. So my hair is just a little weird right now. Um, but anyway, I had this sitting around for a long time because I wasn't sure about the smell of it. And I almost gave it to my sister on multiple occasions. And then I almost gave it to my cousin. And I was like, no, um, I'll smell it again and just see if it grew on me. And oh, it grew on me. I, oh my God, this scent. I wish I could have everything in this scent. Like I wish this scrub was in this scent. I, I don't know what it is about the pistachio, almond, and sweet vanilla. But those three together are my all-time favorite. So yeah, I feel, I feel like this is like such a short, weird, random, boring video, but I wanted to do something. My kid did wake up like he always does, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit down and do like an actual video tonight. So I just kind of wanted to throw something together um, because I'm trying so hard to keep up with doing videos any chance that I get. Um, whether they're random little ones like this that might seem boring to you. I don't know. I'm sorry. I hope you're at least entertained. Like, I mess up my words all the time. So hopefully that's at least funny to you. Um, I mean, I did my makeup and everything so I could sit down and do videos tonight. I hope I can get him back to sleep because, like I said, I have a lot of videos to get done. I don't know how much longer I'll be in this house. And I want to make sure that I have videos to put out when I go back home. And so that means lots and lots and lots of pre-filming need to happen. So I need my kid to sleep. I need to be able to get videos done. Um, please send me suggestions for videos that you guys want to see. Like you as my viewers, what would you like to see? Um, I know I love doing like purse videos, but I can't always just do purse videos. Do you want to see me do like a makeup routine? Do you want to see a skincare routine? Do you want to see like a 
morning and nighttime routine. I will try and do videos like that for you guys. Um, like, again, I don't know how people set their cameras up to do that kind of stuff because I'm not one of them. I don't understand how they set their up at the perfect angle to get all of that, but I will try. Um, and hell, maybe maybe tonight I can do like a nighttime routine. I can take all my makeup off with you guys and wash my face, do all of that, show you how I get ready for bed. Who knows? Um, but since my kid is awake, I gotta go get him back to sleep. Please, please let him go back to sleep so I can make more videos. Um, but really, honestly, please send me suggestions for videos that you would like to see anything. It, it, it can be anything. I'm willing to try stuff. I would I would love to do Q&As for you guys. I would love for you guys to ask me questions. Like, if you want to know anything about me, like, send the questions my way. If you want to see me do this video or that video, just leave suggestions down below. And I will definitely write them down and I will definitely make them happen for you. Um... That is what I'm here for. I'm here for you guys. Like, as much as I have fun doing this, I still want to make content that you guys are going to want to see, you know? So, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to go get my kid back to sleep, hopefully, and hopefully I'll be back later to make some more videos. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon.